Reasons why you're not hearing back from jobs. Good evening, sessionistas and photogs, and welcome to Photogs Life. My name is Chris Calumbiran, and I'm the chief photographer and founder of Chris Calumbiran FZE. Please follow our social media pages. The links are right here. Wow, change of topic. <laughs> why you haven't heard from that job application that you applied for yesterday or applied for last week or last month? Man, 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 job search is such a challenging part of our career. So I will help you and share you this blog written by thebalancecareers.com by Miss Allison Doyle. This was updated October 9, 2019. So this was written before and updated now. Maybe they have a different version. It's a good um, initiative of them sharing this because I learned something and I want to share it with you. The purpose of this video is for us to learn together about entrepreneurship and about our careers. We have this uh, video format and we also have an audio format that you can listen to anywhere and anytime you like, especially during your found time. Found time is the time when you do things, mundane things, it can be an important thing for your career and it can be like just driving or just washing the dishes. These are your found time. We would like to help you finish those tasks by learning at the same time. If you find this vlog interesting, if you find this vlog helpful for you or for your loved ones, please hit that like button and please follow us on our social media pages and share this to your friends and family. So let's go back to the topic, shall we? So there are plenty of reasons why an employer doesn't come back to the applicant. It can be really stressful at times. And, you know, because you have no clue what's happening about that potential position. And we do ask these questions. Why, doesn't com why don't companies notify applicants after the interview? And what will you do if this happened to you? <laughs> Let's find out. You know, let's find out how not to take things personally, you know. Number one is why employers don't let applicants know. There are two things. It's only polite for an employer to come back to the applicant and notify them whether they didn't get, you know, the position or not. But sometimes large companies can do that because they have some sort of a system, an automated system that can easily send you an email or a post or a letter or a note, easily send you that without the fuss because they have that installed in their system. And another reason why is small companies don't have the manpower or don't have the automated system, something like this, that can do that for you. So it is only key for you either to follow up on a phone call or an email. But if you haven't come back, you know, still continue your job searching and go to the next one. I'll tell you now what the reasons why they don't, why you don't hear from them. If you don't get the job, you know, why you don't hear from them. Number one, you lack the required credentials. You know, you do not match the job requirement. You're, you're, you are a driver and you are applying for a cook or you are applying for an engineer, but you're a doctor. You know, it doesn't match the job requirement. This is very important. Number two is your resume is a mess. Man, fix your resume. Find someone who is really efficient or uh, who is really proficient in English or in resume building and they will help you fix your resume. You know, it can be a bio data that you've been using for the last 30 years. God knows, you know, <laughs> try to <laughs> fix that resume. Oh my goodness. You didn't submit the required documents. Yes, there are some required documents here in Philippines. It can be the NBI clearance. It can be the birth certificate and whatsoever. But here there are also some requirements that the you know, the, the, the employee requires from you. So keep that ready for you. You know, the, uh, the attested papers, your visa, your passport copy, your NOC, have those ready before, you know, applying for the job or during the application. You know, they hired someone else. 
<laughs> Sorry, they hired someone else. The princess is in the other castle. Man, go go to the other castle instead. You know, they tired. Uh, they changed hiring plans. They tired change hiring plans. So it happens. Sometimes they require this position, and sometimes they don't. You know, they they just change the their 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 plans. You know, they stop hiring. You know, it can be like a frozen freeze hire. You know. So after the job interview, this is most of the time, you know, uh, what happens during the job interview after. You know, another reason why um, you didn't get the job is you're not a good fit <laughs> for the company's culture. My goodness, you know, good fit. You know, um, most of the time, when you say company culture, there is that company culture that they have developed through the years because it can be coming from the founder it can be coming from the ceo who is now seated seated as uh, you know in 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 that company the company culture you it's kind of like um uh they have that sort of judgment whether you are not or you are in you know because most of the time you can be an extrovert and they need extrovert you know and you're such an introvert that you you have to like go to another company that you know have that kind of uh requirement so shall i say you're just not a good fit don't take it personally you know just continue so your search and this is the, now this, the next one is the deal breakers deal breakers man <laughs> This is very interesting. Number one is someone who lied during the interview. Man, that's 86% on top. <laughs> someone who lied during the interview. Someone who lied with their credentials. Someone who lied. Man, I know people who lie every time. I wouldn't name names, but I know who you are, so don't lie to me. <laughs> Bad mouthing previous employers, 81%. Man, bad mouthing. I mean, just bad mouthing alone is bad enough, you know. So try not to bad mouth. That's eighty-one percent. Someone who is perceived as arrogant. Yes, me. If I'm going to um, employ someone, I would go for the attitude. I would go for the um, the yeah, the whole attitude. Not the not for you know the 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 capabilities next because that can be taught. It's an it's a hard um, skill. I can teach them, but the soft skill is very important for me. How you are as a person. Uh, this is very interesting. And now, another cause of not getting the job is your social media presence. Social media presence. When <laughs> post wisely, guys. Enough said. Post wisely. If you want to have a great career, if you want to have a great working career, only post those things that can either help your reputation or help you know your career go further. Instead of, I, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't continue. I wouldn't say anything else. <laughs> Social media presence is very important. Don't think. That employers do not see what you do in social media. Otherwise, just erase your... Oh my God. It's difficult to erase it because it's already there. But, you know. In conclusion, don't take it personally. Number one, don't take it personally. There's always another fish. There's always another big fish. You know, um... It is tough. It is tough to find job. It is tough to do a uh, job application. But, you know, um, yeah, you're just not the fit or you're just not uh, compatible. They know already who they're looking for and they have that experience. Number two, try to write a thank you job, a thank you note after the job interview, a thank you note, a thank you letter, or an, an, an email or a phone call. You know, it's a good contention to find out what's happening with that job interview, you know, or with the job search. Don't stop 
finding work. Don't stop your job search because sometimes if you're waiting for that call, you're not really 100% sure if the, you know, if the right opportunity comes. So there you have it. Thank you very much. I'm past like 11 minutes. Thank you very much for having me. So please, please, guys, I need your help. If you like this vlog, if you like this topic, please hit that like button. Please be generous with your share. And please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the Photog's Life uh, channel and in, 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 in Facebook and YouTube. I would like your support on this. Thank you very much, guys. So if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, please do. Please let me know. And another bonus, another bonus one, another bonus tip would be get a proper headshot. Get a proper headshot, guys. Go look for your favorite photographer. Go look for the photographer that you're comfortable working with and get that professional headshot done. If you're going to do it with me, I'll give you a nice discount. You know, if you're looking for a job, let me know. We might end up having a project together. We never know. So please, so there you have it. My name is Chris Calumbiran and I'm the chief photographer and founder of Chris Calumbiran FZE. Please follow our websites and our social media pages and have a great day, guys. Thank you very much. Cheers.